Hello and welcome to Dice and Demons. In this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about what my plans are for the upcoming 9th edition of Warhammer 40k. So as a lot of you probably already know, I have recently started an Orc army. And uh, I've been going for a very bright color scheme and I've been having loads of fun. However, painting like this takes a, a quite a long time. So uh, the Orc army is far from finished, especially as it's a Horde army. So, I mean, will you ever really finish one? So uh, that's one of my projects. I do also, however, actually have another unfinished army for 40k. I have a Sisters of Battle army. I was very, very, very happy when I saw that they would be making plastic Sisters of Battle and I thought, well, that's a project you should support, right? So, um, so I bought one of those boxes and I've got an exorcist and I've got some more um, just troops lying around and uh, it's not really a finished army yet by far. I, I love the models, I love the model line, I love the lore behind the Sisters of Battle, but they have so many fine t details that it takes forever just to paint one model. So it's on my to-do list, but to be honest, it's been quite a while since I last painted one of those. Then I don't have any more unpainted models or anything lying around. That's a lie. I also have um, a Slanish army <laughs> and this army is also unfinished and I'm not sure I will actually ever finish it because while I like the models and I like the paint scheme and I like the colorful bases I've made on these, I hope you can see it there, I don't actually like the way they play and as I paint in order to play I don't feel very motivated to actually get this army done. But I do have it, and I have quite a lot of uh, demonets and uh, other stuff for, for this army lying around. Some of it is painted, and some of it is, well, not quite painted. Well, so, so I have quite a lot of models lying around that are kind of grey, and I have quite a lot of unfinished projects and some armies that definitely need my love and attention. So uh, the last thing I need is a new army and as a sensible reasonable mature adult I kind of ordered two of the new box sets for 40k um, I'm splitting them with a friend though I'm not going to be keeping all the models for myself just the Necron ones so that's sort of like only 74 models right I mean that's basically nothing um, <laughs> it's silly it's stupid I shouldn't do it and uh, I know my uh, my family will be making a lot of fun of me for this Espe um, especially my daughter she's 11 and uh, the last time I started a new army the orc army actually she looked at me very reproachfully and said mom another army and I tried to pretend that they would go with the Sisters of Battle army, but she's not stupid, so she knew what was going on. I don't know how to sneak 74 Necron models into my hobby room without anyone noticing it. But I'll give it a go anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm really, really hyped for 9th edition. I'm looking forward to it. As I've been saying, I don't know a lot about strategy yet. I haven't actually played the game a lot. Perhaps because I have three unfinished armies. Um, so I don't know uh, anything about the balance or the rules or anything like that. I, I'm not really... Uh, I don't pay too much attention to that right now as they don't mean a lot to me yet. I'm, I'm just thrilled that new stuff is coming out and I am so, so excited for the new Necrons. I've been looking at the Necrons for a long time but I just really didn't like the look of the warriors. And I thought, well, if at some point they should get new warriors, then I would actually have to probably give it a go. And now they did, and you have to, you know, keep your promises, even if they are promises you've just silently whispered to yourself. So I'm getting a new Necron army, and uh, I'm going to be painting them rusty and grim dark, and, uh, you know, with lots of northern oil. No, I'm painting them pink. So, 
for, for the 9th edition of 40K, Pink Necrons. Stay tuned. <laughs>